EnduraClad International. Congratulations. Well, you know how the customer always complains that their products just didn't last long enough? Well, that's where EnduraClad has been a saviour for so many of its mining customers for the last six years. EnduraClad supplies wear resistant products to the mining, earth moving, and quarrying industries. These products make plant and machinery last longer in the harsh environments they are installed in. In fact, our core product line, an extra thick welded overlay plate, was developed specifically for mining applications, and this is a clear leader in our supply sector, providing cost saving solutions for our many customers. Ladies and gentlemen, Distinguished guests, sponsors, fellow finalists, it's with great honour that I accept this award. There are many people who have helped me get to where I am today, although I'm unable to thank them all tonight. A special thanks goes to my friends, my family and my employees. I'd like to thank Telstra for hosting such an event that allows Western Australian business the opportunity to be recognised for their efforts throughout the year. I think it's important to recognise these efforts and reward business for their hard work in providing employment and giving back to the local community. This is my second year as a finalist in the Telstra Business Awards and following last year's awards and seeing especially how other winners had managed to create that work-life balance, I decided to make this year about me and develop strategies to successfully run my business while maintaining that all-important balance. Since last year, I've lost 14 kilos. Thank you. And I look, I look and feel great. I've driven inspiration amongst my running buddies and joined several running clubs. My Wednesday running hosted by the Running Centre in West Perth has been the element that has kept me pushing. Running amongst such, such superstars like Rochelle Rogers, who's a Marathon B qualifier for the World Championships, has kept me going and motivated to achieve and seek my goal to one day run a marathon for myself. My team at work have also been the beneficiaries of my new acclaimed sporting and fitness. I now push healthy snack options in the vending machine, offer fruit for visitors and employees, and staff often join me for walks around the block. I've insisted strongly for a, a quit smoking plan and have, and have had the factory workers doing exercises daily before they start each shift. I'm a supporter of providing opportunity to people with disabilities, developing employment and training programs to break down barriers for entry into the workforce. I believe disability is just a label. Everyone has skills that are valuable. It's just a matter of matching their skills to the working environment. I'd like to close with the following statement. We celebrate these awards tonight as owners of our companies, but we know that without great staff, we probably wouldn't be here. I'd like to, I'd like to just take a moment to recognise those people who have helped me grow my business to where it is now and thank them all for their contribution. Now I'd like to introduce Leanne. I'm gonna try and keep it sweet and short. <laughs> I'm Leanne and I'm actually one of the longest serving employees of EnduraClad. Um, the thing I enjoy most of EnduraClad is that Jason believes in opportunities of creating for people. Uh, in fact, I started as the company's truck driver. Um, back in 2011, <laughs> and where he had only one other person working for him. Uh, moving through the ranks, I've learnt to learn opportunities on the factory floor, so I learnt how to use a grinder, the whole lot. Um, from there, I've learnt the control of transporting and finally heading up my current position as the pur purchasing manager. Today I stand before you as a confident person. I've never done speech talking, so this is really a, a, another tick to my box. And I owe it all to Jason. Jason tells his, his story too modestly. The real thing is he shows he cares. He is a decent businessman who employs people from many different backgrounds, including those in disable. He puts most of his staff through extensive external base training and we are awarded with our certificates with competitive systems and practices. Jason also likes to support his, his charities and he does that constantly. Anyone that visits our, our factory has the opportunity to put in a, a disc 
and he will donate money towards the, that company at the end of the month. So every month he donates something to several, several community. The one of the things that tonight, as again, is no exception, I should say that. He has actually gotten hold of a few businesses, owners around the town, and has promised that if we, everyone here, stand, out, stand up and get a photo with two thumbs up, they will donate a total of $1,000 to Rocky Bay Disabilities. So I would like that opportunity for everyone to stand up and put your thumbs up so we can get that $1,000 to Rocky Bay. So thank you. Jason. <laughs> it is much appreciated in more ways than one. And this is a company that's worth enduring for. So thank you again. <laughs> <laughs>